Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Solving One-Step Equations. In order to solve one-step equations, we must first realize that the inverse of addition is subtraction, and the inverse of subtraction is addition. So we are going to be undoing a lot of our equations using our inverses. Our inverse of multiplication is division, and our inverse of division is multiplication. Something important to remember throughout all of our equations is that what is done to one side must be done to the other. Let's get started. Our first equation, x plus 4 equals 29. Our first step is to isolate the variable. So here I have my x is right here. And I'm going to isolate my variable by asking what operation is being done to the variable. Well, I can see it's being added by 4. So, what is the inverse operation of addition? Subtraction. So I will subtract 4 from both sides. These 4s will cross out because this becomes a 0 pair. Positive 4 minus 4 is 0. So then I end up with x equals 25. I can always check my answer by putting in my 25, substituting it in for x, and seeing if the answer is correct. So 25 plus 4 needs to equal 29, and it does. My next problem, 32 equals y minus 1. I will still always be isolating my variable, and I'm going to do that by asking what operation is being done to the variable. Well, this time the variable is on this side, and the operation being done to it is subtracting by 1. So what is the inverse of subtraction? Addition. So I'll add 1 to both sides this time. This time, this side is going to cross out because I have negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. So my answer is 32 plus 1, which is 33 equals y. Remember, I can substitute that in for y and see if I'm correct. 32 equals 33 minus 1, and it does. For this problem, I will still isolate the variable, which in this case is on this side, it's b. I'm going to ask what operation is being done to the variable. Well, I see there's an 11 outside here of a coefficient of 11. Remember, when a variable is next to a number and it has a co that means it's its coefficient, it means to multiply. So what is the inverse of multiplication? Division. So I'm going to divide both sides by 11. I always want to use a fraction bar to show division with equations instead of using the normal division symbol. So I'm just going to draw a fraction bar under each of these terms. And I'm going to write 11 underneath to show that they're being divided by 11. So I will have b equals 6. The reason that these are going to cancel out is because 11 divided by 11 is 1, and we know that there is a coefficient of 1 in front of all variables that have no number in front of them normally. So this makes sense. 1b is equal to 6, or just b is equal to 6. Remember, I can substitute that answer in, and 11 times 6 is 66, so I'm correct. For our last example, we have 5 equals w over 10. I'll still isolate the variable, and the variable's on this side this time, by asking what operation's being done to it. Well, we just showed that a fraction bar is division in our last problem, so it's going to be w is being divided by 10. So what's the inverse of division by 10? Multiplying both sides by 10. I'm going to be using parentheses to multiply both sides instead of using the dot. This is because it can get confusing with the dot to see what's actually a decimal and what's a multiplication symbol. X can be confusing because it might be confused with a variable. So we always use parentheses. So here I'll just draw my parentheses around my first term and put a 10 outside. That means multiply by 10. I'll do the same thing to the other side. So 10 times 5. And then here I have 10 times essentially 1 tenth. And so those tens will cancel out because that's really 10 divided by 10 or 1. So I end up with 50 equals w. I can plug this back in to see if I'm correct. 
and 50 divided by 10 is 5, so 5 equals 50 divided by 10. I'm correct. Let's recap. Steps for solving equations. Identify what operation is being done to the variable. Do the inverse operation to isolate the variable. And repeat the operation on the other side of the equation. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time!